Do you have money saved up in case you run into an emergency? If not, keep watching for seven ways to build up an emergency fund. Hi, and welcome back. I'm Kamika, and this is Well Balanced Wallet, where I help you create healthy money habits and live a life that you love on your current budget. In today's video, I want to talk about saving money for an emergency fund. Job loss, natural disasters, car trouble, medical issues, and global pandemics are all considered emergencies, and they could happen to anyone at any time. The goal is to have money set aside for these things if they occur. Emergencies are unexpected, but with a little bit of planning, you can eliminate the financial stress of an emergency. According to Dave Ramsey, the minimum amount that you should have for an emergency fund is $1,000, but in some situations, that's not enough. Most financial experts recommend having three to six months of expenses in an emergency fund. So before we get started, let me know in the comments what is the minimum amount of money that would make you comfortable in the case of an emergency. I want you to determine the amount that's right for you and make that the goal for your emergency fund. So the first way to build up an emergency fund is to open a separate savings account. You want to get started by taking a look at your current finances. Do you have any money saved up that could be used for an emergency fund? Is it at least $1,000? If so, make sure you put that amount in a separate savings account. If you don't have the minimum amount of $1,000, then your first step is to open a separate savings account and get started with your emergency fund. The second way to build up an emergency fund is to eliminate unnecessary expenses. Cutting expenses is not fun, but it's a great way to get started building up your emergency fund. Things like eating out, expensive coffees, and new clothes should be put on hold while you're trying to fund your emergency fund. Take any money that you would use on these things and add it to your emergency fund savings account. Number three is to cancel subscriptions. Subscriptions usually don't cost that much on their own, but when you pay for things like Netflix, Hulu, and gym membership all in the same month, it really begins to add up. So you want to find free things to do for entertainment and then use free options like YouTube for your workouts until you get your emergency fund built up. Number four is to reduce household expenses. Reducing household expenses won't free up a ton of money, but it will make a difference. Start turning off your lights and unplugging devices when they are not in use. You also want to avoid cooking and washing clothes during peak hours of the day. Another thing that you can do is to set your thermostat a bit higher during the day in the summer and a bit lower during the day in the winter. Use a combination of these things to cut your household expenses and add money to your emergency fund. Number five is to pick up a side hustle. Side hustles are a great way to bring in additional income and you usually get paid pretty quickly. Driving for Uber, working part-time at a retail store, and doing odd jobs around someone's house can all be considered side hustles. Choose a side hustle that interests you and add the money that you earn to your emergency fund savings account. Number six is to sell things that you don't need. Selling things is a really quick way to add money to your emergency fund. Have a garage sale or list some things that you no longer need on the Facebook marketplace. There are also online consignment shops like Poshmark or Mercari that you can list your items online and ship them to the people that purchase them instead of meeting up with people in person. Look around your house for things that you don't use and start listing them today. And the last way number seven is to add your emergency fund into your budget this means that you want to add a category line in your budget for emergency fund once that is done you want to take a look at your current finances and see is there any extra money that you were saving for something that can wait or any money that you can shift around to add to your emergency fund. Try to come up with a sustainable amount to contribute to your emergency fund each month, even if it's only $20. Any amount that you add to your emergency fund each month will help you reach your goal faster, and then you can focus on your other goals. When you have an emergency fund, you're prepared for things that may come up. This helps you lower your stress levels during the time of chaos, and it also makes you feel better about your financial future. So I'm curious, where are you with your emergency fund? Let us know in the comments. That's all for this video. Be sure to give it a like and click the link on your screen right now for more Well Balanced Wallet content. See you there.